Hi, guys. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a new video. Enjoy. Apology accepted. Yeah. Now let's go home and get you dried off. Wait, perhaps. No complaining. You'll catch a cold at this rate. But the kid and that weirdo. 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 A human? They're strong. They can handle themselves. You, on the other hand, obviously cannot. Perhaps. You need to take better care of yourself, brother. Mm. Fear not. The Great Papyrus shall protect you from the sniffles. Uh, thanks, Pat. <gasps> Caster. You're there, aren't you? <laughs> Perceptive as always. Nice to see you made a cute little friend since our split. Or is he your brother? Gaster said there weren't any other skeletons left. Was he wrong? I'm tired. Be quiet, will you? Oh, don't be like that, Sonzi. Or would you prefer I call you Big Brother? <laughs> How cute. But it would hardly seem appropriate, considering your unfortunate height. I'm not your brother, okay? Now shut up or get out of my room! But I'm not in your room. I'm in your head. Then get out of my head! I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> Sons, please. We're both children of Gaster's creation. <laughs> that makes us siblings. You remember me now, do you not? Gaster's soul artifice. Correct! Why... why are you here? Why now? If you're here for the fragments you left me, please, I can't... I need... It's Gaster, Sonzi. <gasps> he has to be stopped, but... I can't do it alone. And neither can you. No, no, he's gone! Dead! I remember you killing him! Incorrect. We tried to kill him. You hesitated. You, you hesitated. And now because of you. And because of your lack of conviction. Yet another child risks suffering our fate, Sonzi! Do you know what it feels like to be ripped from your body, imprisoned alone for a thousand years, to be broken, hacked apart, and stitched back together again, to be fused with another child's mind and memories, to be crushed into dust and injected into yet another mind and body, only to be ripped apart again? Do you know? Our suffering and sacrifices are the only reason you and that adorable little brother of yours are even still alive. Help us. Help us rain justice down upon the wicked man who twists and torments. Help us save the red child from our fate. It's the least you could do to repay us. Sonzi. Sons, you're up early. Did you sleep well? <sighs> good, good. Breakfast spaghetti will be ready soon, with extra snail syrup, just like you like. <sighs> uh, sorry, bro. I have to leave early today. Need to help cover, uh, uh Dago shift. Uh, yeah. Huh? You cover for someone at work? Sons, are you feeling all right? Yeah, perhaps. Never better. It's just, uh, you've been acting very strange lately. It's nothing, perhaps. You worry too much. Oh, okay. J just take care of yourself, all right? 
Will do, bro. Yeah. Later. <sighs> I... I don't understand. It was right here. Gaster's door. I know it was. I saw it. You know, you could just ask me for help. <laughs> help with what? Screwing with people's heads? Tips and tricks on unhinging your face like a damn snake? Oh, I know! We'll blackmail the wall by threatening to steal its soul! Wow, that's a great idea! <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. Rude. Oh, I'm the rude one. Excuse me, but I'm not the one drowning people. I did what I had to in order to help you. Without physical form, I needed the water to act as a channel for my magic. It was the least unpleasant option. Help me? Eh, <laughs> all you're interested in is helping yourself. I prefer to think this as a mutually beneficial arrangement, Sonzi. <laughs> really? Why, yes. You see, I let you, out of the kindness of my heart, continue wasting your miserable life. Living off my soul's energy like the rude, ungrateful, pathetic little leech that you are. And all I ask in return is that you help me bring justice to the man who harmed us. How is that not fair? Justice this, justice that. All you're really interested in is vengeance, plain and simple. And I want no part in it, you hear? <laughs> Somsy. I have been very patient with you so far, but my patience has its limits. You will do as I ask. Understood. <laughs> Good boy. Come now, I know how to find him. That door is meaningless. Are you sure Sons went to Waterfall? That weirdo. I'm positive. Put a tracking seat on that trash bag years ago. Fortunately for me, he never cleans that disgusting jacket. But I don't understand. Why would he lie? Ah, sweetheart. Your brother's not just a filthy liar. He's a pathological filthy liar. You just can't trust people like him. <laughs> Flowey, what? Be quiet. A boat. Really? That's your plan? <laughs> Language? How would you feel if I called you an inanimate object? <laughs> <laughs> You hurt her feelings. Apologize. S uh, sorry. Oh, uh, wait. Is that? Yep. It's the one I told you about. The so-called river person. This is strange. They don't usually show themselves to monsters. Why? They're a monster too, and the monsters are nice. <laughs> That's adorable. You really have no idea, do you? Point is, Papyrus, is if that damn hermit is getting involved in something. Hmm. It probably isn't good. So, what exactly is your plan here? Because I don't know about you, but I'm not right in the sentient ball of splinters. <laughs> well, you have your shortcuts, and I have mine. There we go. A portal between our universe and Gaster's. <laughs> oh, hush now. Don't act so surprised. I've had over a thousand years of isolation, practice, and hatred to strengthen our so's magic. Did you really think I left you with even a fraction of that power? You underestimate us. Then why? Why do you need my help? Because I need all the help I can get, Sonzi. 
Traveling between worlds, playing with people's lives? Just who do you think you are? Who even are you?